Hello, Captains, and welcome to my channel, Just Gaming For Us. I'm your host, Brent Justice, and welcome to Star Trek Online. I'm continuing to play the new remastered missions under Warzone on the KDF faction. This will be the last one. So previously, I've played the first three of those remastered missions, bringing down the house, the house always wins, and then Mars, the bringer of war. Now it's time for the mission Alpha. Now this mission, as I said previously, wasn't in the game until the year 2012. That's about three years after the game had been live. So uh, Alpha was added a few years after the game launched. Um, so it was not originally in the storyline, but it was added. Now they did add it under the Romulan storyline for the Klingon faction. So that's interesting. Now it's moved under Warzone instead of the Romulan stuff. But here it is. Let's see what's new about it. Now, I watched an old video of my playthrough of it, my original playthrough. And uh, what happens is we have to hunt down a Klingon ship that crashed on a moon. And it has some important data we have to get off of it. There are Nausicaan raiders in the mission. We fight them off around the planet, then we fight them while we're on the ground. Uh, while we're on the ground, we end up finding a Romulan who escaped, and we have to track down the Romulan as well. And the entire um, world that we're on, or that moon, has got a very large playable area for the character, and there's actually multiple things to do on that map besides the main mission. There's like little side things you can do and scan for and stuff. And there's also career-specific things you can do. Um, we also have to free some Klingons and uh, track down some of our cr some crew from the crash ship, and of course the data. And it all culminates at the end. I think there's even some um, some of the uh, uh, what are their names? The um, I forgot their names from uh, Voyager. The species from Voyager who took over the ship once. Uh, I can't believe I forgot their name. I'm having a complete complete brain aneurysm at the moment. Um, gosh, I can't remember their name. But I know who they are. And you'll know who they are too when you see them. But they're from the Delta Quadrant. But they actually end up in this mission somehow. Anyway, let's get on with it, and any changes or updates I see along the way from the original version, I'll uh, call those out. So it says, Dangers lurk in a remote jungle deep in Romulan territory. Will you be the predator or the prey? One of the vessels that took part in the raid on Utopia Planitia has gone missing in the Orith system in Romulan space. We received a brief burst from the ship's emergency transponder, but then it went silent. If this was a Romulan attack, we may have a new enemy to face in this war. Command has ordered us to go to the last known location of the ship. Once there, we are to find the missing vessel and recover the critical data, if possible. Okay, so the system is the same. We're going to the Orth system. But they connected it to the raid on Utopia Planitia, so that's new. Oh man, it's so far away and it's going to take me a while to fly there, so I will just transwarp there. Let's see what's new. Well, already the space is different. We have arrived in the Orith system. The bird of prey may be in orbit, obscured by the planet itself. It may have crashed on the planet, or been destroyed here in space. It is time to begin the hunt. Ready to begin a sensor sweep on your command. So Command was not in the original version of this mission, so he's new. Uh, we were solo in that mission, so the fact we have someone helping us, that is new for this mission. Also... Um, they have really updated the visuals. I mean, just way better right now. The um, planet is still huge, and then there's the moon, but the lighting is way better. It's darker background. Yeah, this looks really a whole lot better. Hmm. There is too much radiation from Orith Prime. 
It's scrambling the sensor signals. We should narrow down the search area with more intensive scans of key areas. That small ion nebula is a good place to start. Pretty much the same uh, setup as the original version. We have to scan a nebula. We ended up having to calibrate s sensors or scanners or something and find debris and then the Nausicans show up. So let's see if that happens here. The, the waypoint is new. And boy, the visuals are way better. Yep, calibrate scanners. Your officers are skilled, my friend. We now have a detailed scan of the Ion Nebula. There is a cluster of debris behind the larger asteroid. Metallic content is consistent with a ship. That may be what remains of our missing vessel. If so, there could be something left to salvage in the wreckage. So far, so good. The wreckage. And this is, after we scan this, this is where the Nausicans would show up. Let's see if that happens. Yep. Nope. First we have this. Torpedo turret thing. Okay. I suspect that pirates have been ambushing ships in this system with traps like this for some time now. Yeah. Crude, but effective. Many a freighter captain came through here trying to avoid inspections, only to meet a cold and brutal end. Any sign of our missing vessel? Mm. Sensors are picking up Romulan and Nausicaan alloys within the debris field but nothing from a Klingon vessel. I'm reading an interesting radiation anomaly nearby. I think we should investigate it. Indeed we are. Yep. The this is pirate space, and we answer to no one. Leave our ship is under attack. Target shield has failed. We got We him. have got Rumba. We will. Target's shields have failed. Four shields failing. Rear shields failing. Right shields failing. So far, it's exactly the same setup. Just uh, visually awesome looks a lot better. They must see the Romulans as easy targets. It is possible they attacked our missing vessel as well, despite the alliance between the Nausicans and the Empire. Okay, if so, they paid the price for their treachery. Indeed. They should have known better than to challenge a Klingon. Wait. Reading an energy signature on the surface of Orith 2. It corresponds to that of a warp core. Indeed. And of the size and class used in a bird of prey. We need to get down there and investigate. There could be survivors. Standard okay. orbit established. We are in transporter range. Away team is standing by in transporter room one. All right, away we go. Again, a lot of dialogue to get to the point, but... Mm. Detecting bands of Fistrium in the rock formations here. It scatters transporter signals, so this is as close as we can get to the Bird of Prey safely. We should make our way to high ground and get an overview of the area. Then we can plan how to proceed to the crash site. Pretty much the same so far. Actually, this looks very similar to the um, first iteration of this mission. Maybe a little bit better lighting, but pretty much the same here.
What's this? My tricorder's range has been reduced by more than 60%. The fistrium and trace amounts of kelvinite could account for some of that, but no. There's something else. I think we're dealing with a jammer of some sort. Run a scan and confirm my readings. Okay, scan. There. Do you see it? Looks like a low-level duonetic field. Exactly. And naturally occurring duonetic fields would not be so constant in effect. This field is artificially generated. I'm sure of it. Be advised. That field will make using transporters difficult. I believe our weapons will still work, however. Okay. Something's going on. As I suspected, that field is making it difficult to maintain a sensor lock. It won't be safe to beam out of here without using a pattern enhancer. Pattern enhancers away. Picking up some energy readings to the south. The jungle is dense. Many life signs. Mm-hmm. Exercise caution. Dangers are hidden here. It looks to me like they really didn't do much to we the um, alone. surface here. The uh, rock textures look... Um, the rocks here form natural valleys and causeways. If we head to the low ground and follow the valleys, we should be able to reach the crash site. Looks like the rock textures are very uh, old. Not as good as what they can do currently. So they might not have updated, like, the planet's surface textures. They might have just improved the lighting a little bit, maybe, but the textures still seem very, very old in terms of when this mission was made. All right, go to the crash site, which we know is that way, but we're going to have to do a little exploring first. There's several ways we can go on this, and, yeah, the map is still very large just like it was originally so that's good now there's multiple ways we can explore here because there's certain things we can find along the way so before I go that way I'm actually gonna backtrack this way a little bit see what we can find back here see if there's anything this way we can find Nope, looks like this is a dead end, so that's not going anywhere. Let's go the other way real quick. I think that goes to where we want to see. Let me go back around this way. Ah, see, there is stuff this way. There's got to be... I remember when I played this originally, there were like plants I had to scan for and stuff. Oh yeah, see all these multiple ways we can go? Yeah, there's... Something's happening. Okay. Enemy targets on sensors. That happened. Well, he went running. Ah, uh, see, I found a dead person. Decaying corpse. Enemy targets on center. What a tough cat. Another body, but I guess we can't scan it. That's the way we want to go, so let me go back the way we don't want to go. Just so I can make sure I explore everything. We shouldn't turn our backs on a beast like that. There's 
This is a huge area. So many ways we could go. Look how far we can go back here from the uh, from where we're supposed to go. Oh, I'm back to where I started. Never mind. Uh, I guess I came full circle. Okay, well now let's try to actually get to where I'm supposed to go. should get our weapons ready. Eh, you ain't kidding. I saw something moving. We should scan the area again. Okay. Hirogen. That's the planet is what playing tricks on me. There's nothing there. Couldn't think of the name. Hirogen. That's can't believe I forgot their name. So many different ways to go. Who are you guys fighting? Another body. I think we found the crash site. There it is! The bird of prey! Recommend we run a baseline scan before we proceed. I do not like surprises. And there have been too many of them here already. Hmm. Those might be life signs. But the radiation from the ship's reactor is fouling up my tricorder. We can't rely on our instruments here. Visual recon is our next option. Stay alert. These bodies are literally floating above the ground. Come on. I have Katang, captain of what remains of this honored vessel. We were returning from a recon mission and encountered Nasakan pirates. One of them got a lucky shot and knocked our seal generator out. We were making repairs when the Herogen attacked. Herogen here, they have come far to hunt. Indeed. They are good at that. They jammed our transmissions and began to hunt us like animals. Shortly after, we crashed. I, 
do not know how many of my crew remain. Several of them went into the jungle to hunt the Heraldin against my orders. Young fools. Always it is the brave ones who die. We will search the area for your crew. So, so, so far the same thing we had to do before. Have to search for the crew. A Romulan. Not terribly unexpected considering where we are. But I do wonder why a Romulan is in the company of Klingon warriors. Keep him close for now. We can interrogate him later. Once we don't have to worry about the Hirogen putting their blades in our backs. Okay, watch him closely. Yeah, Regen, same, same Romulan. I'm detecting level 3 radiation burns and severe heat damage. This warrior must have been very close to a power conduit when it exploded. Okay, so we just need to search for all the others, which several of them are just right here. Lined up in a row. <laughs> well, that's easy. This warrior survived the crash. A very sharp blade killed them, expertly wielded. By tracing the blood trail back to its source, I found a second drag path and two sets of footprints. I believe this warrior died trying to defend someone else. Someone who was then taken. It's just odd that they're all in a row here. I mean, that's not hard to find. I'm detecting electrical burns and plasma damage, along with pieces of shrapnel that could have come from an exploding console. This warrior died with honor. There's nothing that indicates they left their post. This warrior was killed by blunt force trauma. The wounds could have been caused by the force of the crash. If the ship's inertial dampers were offline before the ship hit the atmosphere, it is likely that many of the crew were killed this way. This warrior had many internal injuries. Injuries that should have been immediately fatal. And yet, they survived for some time. And look! Their disruptor was drained of power. Every shot was fired. They died in battle. That's all of them. Let's go talk to Captain Katang. I believe in the first iteration of this, we had to go a little bit into the woods to find some of these guys. They're all lined up right here, so that wasn't hard. Plus, they're kind of floating above the ground. You'd think they would have fixed some of those kinds of issues. And since this is a remastered version of this mission, like, maybe they should have fixed those problems. Where? Where is the enemy? I will die as a warrior. Do, do not let me die like this. Use a hypo spray. My strength returns. I will live to fight for the Empire. Do you hear, heroes and cowards? Katang, son of Karak, live on. Meet me in battle. If you have the spine for it. Hmm. Um, it is our understanding that you acquired valuable tactical data. It is quite a prize indeed. Complete scans of the Romulan defenses and the plans for a new type of warbird. Unfortunately, that green blooded Patak over there detected us. Clever bastard was following in our warp trail as we left the Raytar system. <laughs> clever, but not clever enough. We detected him and disabled his shuttle. I'm surprised you didn't just kill him. Oh, I've considered it several times. But my senior officer has convinced me that Imperial intelligence might like a word with him. So we threw him in the brig. Since then, he's been nothing but trouble. The cunning Toba managed to sabotage our computers after the crash. He'd have done more if my chief engineer hadn't introduced him to the business end of her spanner. 
How, ba how badly did he damage your computers? They're functional, but barely. You should be able to extract what you need from them, but I would hurry before the power runs out! I am getting power readings from within the ship, but they are at minimal levels. If we can find a working terminal, we can use it to access the ship's data core. Again, the dialogue is just so... It just takes so long to get through the dialogue. It, it's like they need to just speak a little faster. I have the data. It's encrypted. But there will be time to deal with that later. For now, we should aid Captain Katang and any other survivors here. Well, I have been aiding him. Return to Kabla! I'm ready to leave this wretched planet. Well, let's go. Go to the beam out site. Okay. Go! Catch that attack of a Romulan! Oh, he got away? Oh, yeah, he's running away. <laughs> Capture the Romulan. Boy, he is, he has, he's booking it, man. He is taking off. I can't run any faster. What are these? Herogen? That blew up. Captain Katang must have had a bomb rigged to the warp core. He knew the Hirogen would return, reading Klingon life signs up ahead. More survivors from the crash, most likely. Ah, yeah. We These Hirogen have freedom. no honor. If they did, they wouldn't keep warriors caged like animals. Let us free these warriors and send them to the Pattern Enhancer for evacuation. Once that is done, we can return there ourselves. Yep. Where are they, Herojan? I will make them pay for this! Evacuate! As you wish. Should I see a Herojan? Honor to you and your house, warrior. You have my thanks. I will not die in a cage, but as a warrior of the Empire. Kabla! Where are they, Herojan? I will make them pay for this! There's the uh, Romulan. There's that Robulin again! Quick, grab him! Why, why is that guy still in a cage? I thought I let him go. Hope that doesn't cause me to lose the mission. I submit to your will. Among my people, that would make you bound to protect me as you would an honored guest. So, guard me now, if you are truly honorable. A large force of Herogen are coming this way. I won't survive without your assistance. Take him. <clears throat> It's not clear what he knows about Katang's mission, but we do know that he wanted us to capture him and escape from the Hirogen. The choice is yours. Shall we take him with us or not? Yes, secure the prisoner and prepare to move out. You won't out. regret this. If I ever return to my home, I will tell my people that there is at least one officer of the Empire who truly knows the meaning of the word honor. Lead the way. I will follow willingly. Okay. Oh, we're getting attacked. Enemy target on center. Okay, let's head back to the transporter site. Which is where? The Herogen won't give up the hunt easily. In that, they are almost Klingon. Stay on guard. There may be more traps and ambushes ahead. I actually don't remember how to get back to where I need to go. What is this contact? A crewman. That's interesting.
Actually, it says to go this way, doesn't it? Eh, I'm actually confused which way to go, to be honest with you. I guess we'll go back down this way. Looks like we can't go that way. So we'll backtrack the way we came. The arrow says to go that way, though. Which is odd. Yeah, that's where we need to go. And we're literally headed the opposite direction. Uh, whatever. Whoa. Uh, what did I walk into here? I can't shoot him. What is this? I can't do anything. They're shooting Captain Katang, but I can't shoot them. Well, that's confusing. Okay, maybe that's not the way I go then. That's weird. I have no idea what's going on there, so let's just leave them alone. This area is so confusing. Regen, he he's not going anywhere. He's way up there. I must have just gone the wrong way. I guess from here we're supposed to go this way. Maybe that's what I didn't do. I'm supposed to go this way. Oh yeah, that would make sense. These scheming Patak are using me and my crewmates as bait for their traps. There is a spatial charge underneath me. It is wired to explode if I move. You might be able to disarm it if you cut the right wire. Save me, or let me die with my honor intact. <laughs> well, let's see if we can figure this out. Cut the green wire. Hey, I think we saved him. Oh, that was pretty easy. I've sent the warrior to the evac site. Okay, I can go that way, or I can go this way. Uh, cut the green wire. Okay, got that. Let's go ahead and save all these guys, actually. Sent the warrior to the evac site. I see there's several people we need to save here. That one was a little more difficult. I've sent the warrior one. to the evac site. There's one guy. Where is he? It's like on the other side of this rock.
found him. Cut the red wire. Okay, I got them all. Enemy targets on center. Okay, that worked. I've sent the warrior to the evac site. I think we got everybody. Ah, here we are. We're back to where we uh, started. There you are. Let us talk of victory. I don't know how he beat all those Hirogen. Ha! Ah, I killed the Hirogen leader in battle and then caught most of his witless lackeys in the blast. If you say it so. It was glorious! Kalis himself could have done no better. Ah, but there is still glory to be had, brave warriors. A second Hirogen Alpha still lives. He has been chasing me through the jungle. Now, we will fight together, side by side, with honor. Death to the Hirogen. Kabla! Oh, okay. Well, actually, they're right here. Enemy targets on center. That was just a prelude. The Alpha is coming. Watch for his minions! Did it? It has been a day of glory and of honor. Know that you are a friend to me and my house. What you have done for me and my crew, I will never forget. When we meet again, we will drink a barrel of my family's finest blood wine. <laughs> Perhaps two. If we're still standing after the first, ha! I have the prisoner. Truly? Ah, good. I have so many questions for that miserable Karut. He will wish for the tender mercies of Imperial Intelligence when I'm finished with him. I may let them have him. Or perhaps I will drag him by those pointed ears all the way to Rura Penthe. Well, we're done. We are cleared for transporter operations and can leave at your command. Okay. Let's see if there's any more to this. Nope. Beams us right back out to the sector space. Turn it in. This was a good victory. Though Katang's ship is a loss, he lives on. A strong warrior and hero of the Empire. He will critically reduce the supply of blood wine in the first city while he celebrates. But that is a small price to pay, I think. You and I both know we need all of the stout fighters we can get if we are to defeat the Federation. Saving warriors like Katang will help us achieve that victory. Ah, but I've chewed enough ligament here. Until we fight together once more, serve with honor, my friend. Good, okay. 
I get a Herogen Tetrion Blast Rifle with this mission. Everything we do is for the Empire. There we go, everybody. That completes all of the Warzone missions, the remastered ones. So for Alpha, it looks like they didn't do a whole lot. They gave us a new uh, space area, which looked a whole lot better uh, to fight in. And then on the ground, it really didn't look that different. Maybe the lighting was different. That was about it. There was a lot more dialogue. And of course, we had um, K K Tang or whoever, not Katang, but the other guy with us. So that's new because we did it solo before, I think. So that's new. And then a lot of the dialogue is new and the voice acting and all that is new. Uh, although some of that was there in the original one. Uh, but they didn't do as much changes to Alpha as they did to the previous three missions. So just a little bit of an update for that one. Uh, and then, of course, they put it under Warzone and connected it to some other things because it was under the Romulan. So that's about it for that. But that completes the remastered uh, Warzone missions that came out for... Um, the season that we're in, which is um, uh, the broken, what is it? <laughs> the broken something. House Shattered, that's what it's called, House Shattered. So that's the current season we're in is House Shattered. And uh, the uh, Year of Klingon Part 2 update. So those are, that completes all the updates they've done for Year of Klingon Part 2. So I'm looking forward to what more they do in the future with the Klingons. Because apparently they are still doing this big Klingon update just in parts. So we'll see what more comes out of that in the coming months and so forth. And any new content and changes or whatever they make with the KDF faction. I'll be right here to uh, record that and see what's new. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Check out Twitter at Brent underscore justice for updates. You can follow me there. Also check out my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Brent justice. This helps support the channel and also allows me to publish more and more videos.